Let me tell you a story heard many times before. A story about a man and a woman, about beauty and desire, and most of all, about love. On a day like any other, they both found themselves in St. Jean Cap Ferrat, on the third floor of Hotel Royal Riviera, checking into parallel rooms overlooking the tender blue waves of the Mediterranean. He was a meticulous man, carefully unpacking his five suits, eight shirts, and ten ties, his usual amount for a two-day trip. She was the essence of efficiency, never wasting a moment of the day. Little did she know that, as she stepped out onto the balcony, destiny already had her in its grasp. She glanced to her left, and there he was, as if waiting for her. You know how it goes. A long gaze, a smile, and voila! That night, they met up at the bar. He was late, but, strangely, she did not mind. She wore a red dress, he shows the tuxedo. Perhaps a bit over the top. They immediately felt like they had known each other a lifetime. He could not recall ever talking to a woman as radiant as her. Suddenly, she reached over the table and put her hand on his. Like it was nothing, but to him, it was everything. And as they walked back through the drizzling night, she once again took charge and drew him closer. From that moment on, their fates were inevitably intertwined. Every thought shared, every pain, every joy, good days and bad. Even as they left Cap Ferrat, they knew they would one day have to come back to relive the fateful days when a serendipitous gaze transformed into love. Years later, they found themselves again at the Hotel Royal Riviera. He had told her to wait outside the lobby at noon. He was 10 minutes late as usual. She hated waiting for him, but finding that she could not change him, had learned to endure it. He pulled up in a 1962 Morgan 44. Great looking car, but terrible to drive. We're going to a restaurant, he told her, and away they went, through Colla Blanche, passing Creek de Rouvier, and the beautiful pink house they always dreamed of living in. They drove up the serpentine roads of Puncia and stopped on Avenue Marie-Louise Sabatier. Look, it's the restaurant we went to last time, she said. But he did not seem to listen. The moment of truth had finally come. The scene was perfect. The timing flawless. All of their days together was now distilled into a simple question. Will you marry me?